Welcome back to rheumatoidsolutions.com. We love solving problems that are associated with rheumatoid arthritis and other inflammatory arthritis conditions. And one thing that comes up all the time is my doctor doesn't know the science connecting diet and my disease. And it's hard to talk about nutrition with my, di- with my doctor. And so to solve that today, we have invited to this episode, Dr. Laurie Marbus, and she has set up plantbasedtelehealth.com, which is a service to enable people from all around the world to connect with plant-based doctors, many of which who have personal experience and expertise in autoimmunity. And so this is a tremendous new opportunity to all of us in our community to be able to connect to doctors that actually get it. So Dr. Marbus, thanks so much for joining me today. Well, thank you for having uh, me and the plant-based telehealth platform. And we're, we're thrilled to be here. Tell me, uh, how did this come about? And perhaps you might also share a little bit about what you were doing before this, because this isn't the first project you've been involved with. Uh, <laughs> your bio is, is very long. You've done so many different things. Um, perhaps just bullet point some of the things you were working on prior and what led you to starting this uh, initiative? Sure. Um, well, I'm a family physician by training, and so I'm board certified in family medicine and lifestyle medicine, meaning that I focus in on helping people reverse or dramatically improve their health with nutrition as one of the foundational points to always look at. And before this, I was Before I went plant-based, I was doing just traditional family medicine. I'm in the United States. I was in the military and found the value of a plant-based diet through some patient interaction a decade ago. And it's my life has changed. Uh, About three years ago, we launched Healthy Human Revolution. It's my podcast. Um, No, no. Well, I had the podcast before that. We changed the name to plant-based, or sorry, Healthy Human Revolution. That's been five years. The podcast is going for five years. But healthyhumanrevolution.com has some free courses on how to save time in the kitchen, how to eat on a budget, how to get your kids to eat more vegetables, how to transition to plant-based diet, all that kind of stuff. And it, that turned into you know, opportunities to look, how can we help people further? And my business partner, Anthony Masiello, he lost 160 pounds on a plant-based diet um, back in 2005. So we're, I guess we're closing in on what, 16, 17 years now that he's kept that weight off. And we've become friends. We launched healthyhumanrevolution.com together with another friend of ours, Jason Cohen, who lost 120 pounds. So there's these two remarkable individuals who have shown the value of a plant-based diet with weight loss and other things that he, you know, uh, Anthony actually had psoriasis and that went away with his uh, diet as well. And um, Anthony, whenever we would go to conferences and different things, always the, the, in the audience, when after a doctor would speak or some other speaker, they would raise their hands and go, where can I find a plant-based doctor? And I had already been working on some other things, um, including telemedicine with a larger non-plant-based company, non-lifestyle medicine. It was more of a, an acute care type of call in, you know, someone call in with a fever or a cough, or they had an upset stomach or a bladder infection, something along those lines. And when they would be speaking to me, I would always, you know, look at their past medical history and say, by the way, I see that you have diabetes. Have you ever heard of plants? (laughs) (laughs) And that introduction allowed me to really see the power of lifestyle medicine being utilized in the venue of telemedicine, right? So I was able to help people reverse their diabetes, improve their hypertension, I had psoriatic arthritis patients, rheumatoid arthritis, all these incredible things were improving just by the connection and helping patients understand the value with that education. And I was telling Anthony these remarkable results. And Anthony's like, Lori, we should start our own telemedicine company. It's like, you're crazy. (laughs) There's a lot involved. You know, medicine in general is difficult enough, but in the United States, we like to make things even more difficult. And so our system is really messed up. As majority of people understand, we run a very good sick system. You know, we like to keep people sick and give them more medications. We're not very good at taking a healthy person and keeping them healthy or taking a sick person and making them healthy and not need medications. (laughs) And so over time, Anthony was very persistent. So in Uh, Early 2019, we started really focusing in and doing the hard work of how would we even start this? How do we go about, you know, starting a national telemedicine company and internationally? Um, And through a lot of hard work and perseverance and 
you know, a lot of naivety because we being naive in the sense of not understanding the enormous thing that we were trying to accomplish, we would just hit one obstacle and overcome it, hit the next one, <laughs> overcome it, spoke to a lot of lawyers, <laughs> spent a lot of money. And uh, March of 2020, we launched right as COVID was really making its presence known in the United States. And, you know, it, as, co- as horrible as COVID is, it was a silver lining for us in the sense that It really took down the perceived barriers of telemedicine. So patients were introduced to it. Physicians were forced into it. And it really made our work so much easier just to, you know, look in front, be in front of a patient and say, this is a a very good way of helping treat your diabetes, of helping me help treat your hypertension. It was just a phenomenal moment when we were able to accelerate that growth, I think that wouldn't have taken a much longer time had we not had a worldwide pandemic. And so that's how we got started. And it's been about 18 months and it's been a phenomenal uh, success and what a lot of fun. Wow. Yeah. And um, a strange blessing uniquely for your type of business, as you said, who would have thought like in all, all, historical time, there would have been no better time to start a telehealth business than during COVID. And uh, one that (laughs) focuses on people getting well, that's even more phenomenal. It's like, what? (laughs) Well, divine intervention, uh, great thinking, um, good sort of manifestation, nice uh, outcomes of meditation, all these things together, some (laughs) wonderful karma coming your way. Um, Well done. So once again, it's plantbasedtelehealth.com. Uh, how did you recruit doc- doctors? I know that you're well connected within the uh, plant-based world. You you know virtually everyone involved. Um, <laughs> how did you go about saying, "Hey, Mister Doctor X or Mrs. Doctor X, would mm-hmm. you like to take part in this service?" And what were their uh, what were the considerations they had to make to to be involved? The only one that I did that with was Chris, Dr. Chris Miller, who was our first doc. She's been one of my dearest friends for a decade. We also had on your summit and other things. She has her own lupus recovery story, which is pretty phenomenal. And as you know, she had a turn of events that allowed her to be available. And she, we always wanted to work together. And again, I just adore her. And she's super, super smart. Like one of the smartest people I know. And So that was an easy getting started. So I wasn't alone seeing patients. And then Dr. Clapper approached us and we brought on Dr. Clapper a few months later. And honestly, every doctor, um, and I did actually ask uh, Dr. Uh, Kim Scheuer. She also is someone I've known for some time and she has shown an interest. So I just kind of put it in front of her. (laughs) Um, And everyone else actually reached out to us. Because once they start seeing the potential of providing this type of service and practicing the type of medicine that they want to, I mean, it's a very strong attraction for physicians. And the really, really important thing that Anthony and I understand is that one, we have to take very good care of our patients. They're giving us our confidence when they come to see us, just like any physician-patient relationship. But two, I really wanted to take excellent care of my physicians because the physicians, if you don't have physicians, you don't have a practice. Just like if you don't have patients, you don't have a practice. So we have to take very good care of these things. But I kind of like to think of it as we take really good care of the doctors. We, you know, they make a living doing just this. They're going to take excellent care of my patients, of our patients on plant-based telehealth. And that has panned out. Um, I tend to be very picky who I allow to come join us on the panel um, because I really want to also build a network of plant-based physicians who really understand that we have to work together and there are going to be maybe some really difficult patients, which we've already seen, and we want to collaborate. And so we're building a brain trust of some really remarkable physicians who can reach out to each other and build this really amazing network of experiences and ideas and education that I feel is nowhere else in the world exists. And not only that, now we're 18 months into it, we have thousands of patients that we have collected data on. And it is quite remarkable. You'll see trends. Who else has thousands of patients that are plant-based, cared for by plant-based physicians, 
who have lab data, who have medical records and all these conversations. I mean, it's like been a really cool thing to be a part of. And I feel like we're at the tip of the spear on leading, you know, the world to be a healthier place. Mm, absolutely. And when I first web went to your website and I saw that you had Dr. Clapper available on the website, mm -hmm. um, I was like, wow, this is this is sensational because and, and, and I want to go through some of your doctors, including yes. yourself and some of the stories and and uh, and so forth that you've got to share with us with inflammatory arthritis. Um, but but the lineup is is phenomenal. I mean, to speak to someone of that caliber would normally be a waiting list of four months in a clinical setting, and then it would be high fees. You might have to travel, um, have to wear a mask, and sit in a waiting room to go through, uh, and eventually uh, get a get a, a meeting. Uh, this way, you can contact the best of the best from your living room and be mm -hmm. speaking to that person in most instances within a few days. Dr. Clapper mm -hmm. might be a little longer, but um, we're not talking weeks. We're talking that week. Um, this is amazing. So uh, why don't we, can we just go through, um, yeah. so let's start with Dr. Clapper. I mean, for those who aren't aware, he's one of <laughs> the most uh, award receiving, most loved amongst patients and physicians alike people that, that you'll ever meet. Uh, so um, let, let's just let's just love on Dr. Clapper a little bit. I mean, Dr. Clapper, what, what what is not to love? First of all, he's just you know one of the first things I always hear people say when they are recollecting time with Dr. Clapper is how kind he is and how smart he has a really amazing ability to take a science and translate that to lay terms and understand. He has a very strong intuition of what's wrong with the patient and will help them navigate that. But he also has a really strong desire to educate young physicians. So he has a moving medicine forward initiative where he's going to medical schools in really explaining the value of lifestyle medicine really founded in plant-based nutrition. And he's been a doc for almost as long as I've been living. So I'm just going to put that out there. And I have a daughter who's a physician, so I ain't no youngster. So there, <laughs> there, there is the wealth of information and in that one brain is pretty cool. And to have access to it on a daily basis, I, I feel very humbled and honored to be a part of that, but he's phenomenal. And yes, you can see him if you're internationally, you can see him. He's also licensed in California, Florida, Hawaii and New York. So if you live in the United States, the way telemedicine works, you have to be in the state physically at the time of the appointment. You don't have to live in that state, but let's say you live on the border of New Jersey and New York. You could go over to New York and have your appointment with Dr. Clapper. That's just the way the laws work right now. It's very burdensome. It's very difficult <laughs> to get these licenses. I mean, it's expensive and time consuming. Um, I could talk for hours just about the hassle of getting all 50 in DC myself. So, but he's in those four states. So if you're anywhere in that or international, heck, you might live in the United States and just hop over to Canada if the if the borders open and see Dr. Clapper much easier, much more easier than traveling to another state. So anyway, but yes, Dr. Clapper has been phenomenal and uh, just a wealth of experience that you won't find with another physician. I echo all of that. And um and I've been blessed to have done several events with him. He was in Australia one time and I put on my first rheumatoid arthritis event in Sydney and I I, I, I timed it when he was going to be in Australia and, and invited him in advance and said, hey, you know, tail between the legs, would you like to speak at my event? Uh, and he was so... Um, he was so welcoming to the idea and that built a, a great friendship between us. Oh. And uh, he is a regular um, guest on our, um, on our live support calls for our membership clients. And, um, and in fact, uh, there's one tomorrow that he's part of and he's part of our summit, just like yourself and, and Dr. Miller. So I cannot stress this enough. If you're uncertain listening to this or watching this and you're thinking, should I get a second opinion or I'm worried about anything to do with digestion? pain, inflammation, joint problems, autoimmunity, uh, please head over to plantbasedtelehealth.com, book yourself an appointment with Dr. Clapper. Uh, you will not regret it. It's going to uh, be possibly life-changing for you. You've got, um, I will, I'll leave you to last, uh, Dr. Chris Miller, mm -hmm. as I said, another guest on our upcoming summit. 
uh, she uh, has this wonderful um, compassion for patients because she's had uh, her own journey with autoimmune problems, um, lupus, and uh, uh, it's it's quite con quite confronting what she's been. But the empathy that she's that she's attained, and also the detail of how to overcome the most persistent problems. She's been through it all and she's done it. it she's uh -huh. what a what a team member for you. Uh -huh. So I've known Chris since almost since the beginning of her lupus journey. And when she went to a plant-based diet, she wasn't like some of the other stories you'll hear as of someone suddenly improving and they're completely re, you know in remission in three months. You know, those are those wonderful stories you hear and they're and she, we're always thankful that to hear them. But she was one of these that didn't get better on a plant-based diet. Obviously she stuck with it that the plant-based diet improved other components of her health, but she had a really aggressive case of lupus and had significant problems. And you know, she would always come to me, she's like, Lori, why can't I be one of those people to help, you know, get better and, or be better soon? She goes, I don't understand. I was like, Chris, this is your journey. And there's a reason you're on this journey. Your journey is going to end with you having the knowledge and the experience to help people who are just like you, because there's a lot of people just like you, not everyone is going to get better overnight. And that was really important for me to explain to her. And she really took to that message. And, you know, of course it's still been an undulating path, but she's persevered. And literally she is like a pit bull when it comes to the health and looking at the knowledge and digging into the research. And she's just super, super bright. I mean, internal medicine, she did a residency, she did an emergency medicine, then she did an integrative medicine fellowship. I mean, I'm like, you just can't get smarter than Chris Miller. And she's just a delightful human. Um, I don't know how else to explain. You, you meet Chris and you instantly fall in love with her. And I just, I just find her absolutely a delight to be with her at all times. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she, she, she also, she's so passionate about the science too. After, yep. um, after I spoke with her and we talked about the summit and so on, um, we we just connected on a WhatsApp, a uh, little what is little WhatsApp, WhatsApp whatever on your phone, WhatsApp. yeah, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, um, and we're you know sharing sharing scientific articles that are coming out uh, passionately with each other. Check this nice. out, totally nerding out on science about gut bacteria and stuff. So that's her mind. She's totally yeah. into it, and I think only into it at the level that you can be when your own health is at stake, when your right. own you know, inflammation is uh, is kept at bay by what you're understanding and the way that you practice your lifestyle. So, um, cannot recommend her enough. Uh, what a wonderful, humble, and knowledgeable person. Um, let's talk about you. Uh, you um, <laughs> you you have a, your own sort of uh, uh, you you've had a, a health challenge in the past as well. And I hope I haven't thrown you under the bus by asking no, no, you if no, you'd yeah. share a little bit about that. Um, help to everyone to connect with you on a personal level. Uh, and then sure. if you've got some stories also about um, uh, folks that might've had good success with working with you as well with inflammatory arthritis. Yeah, absolutely. So I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis 25 years ago after the birth of my second of three kids. And it was a big surprise because I was, I don't know, 25 or so. And <clears throat> When you do that, nobody ever told me that this could be potentially improved with diet. No one told me the cause. It was just something that it was. You know, there was no family history. And I just continue to take the medications over the, you know, decades, you know, escalating doses. And about, you know, 10 years ago when I went to the plant-based diet, my thyroid actually improved quite dramatically. So I had to drop my dosage. And it's a long story of how that was figured out. It was, it was an interesting story, but I really saw evidence in my own body, how something that had been a chronic quote unquote disease for years, an autoimmune disease, the thyroid improved. So when I stopped, you know, igniting the, the problem with the foods that I was consuming, my body's like, Oh, finally, <laughs> it's going to get better. And honestly, this year, I actually had to decrease my dose again. So I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older. Or I don't know what it is, but I'm like, cool. <laughs> just keep moving <laughs> in the right direction. And 
Um, as far as patients with inflammatory arthritis, um, psoriatic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and I, I really feel these types of inflammatory conditions, autoimmune conditions, respond really well to a plant-based diet. And certainly have seen patients do very well very quickly. Some require a little bit longer, as, as you would attest to. And it just, I think, you know, the earlier we can intervene in the diagnosis, the better. Um, because there just has been less damage to the joints. But, you know, I had a really interesting case. Um, I think it was my first RA patient, actually. This was probably, hmm, this has been before 2015. So it must've been around 2013, 2014. And it was a, a, a woman who had a, a kids and she was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis for about a year. And she came to see me and had heard, <laughs> these are great fun, I practiced you know, holistic medicine or whatever you want to call it. I'm still an MD. I still am rooted in traditional science and stuff. <laughs> so, but it is interesting how people are conveying yeah. you. <laughs> anyway, so she came and we put her on a, a plant-based diet. She lost 40 pounds. All her joint pain went away. Her rheumatoid factor declined. And it was really funny. Well, not funny, but telling. She, um, this was around the holidays, no less. But she went uh, to her mother-in-law's house and had, she goes, Dr. Marvis, they made this amazing brisket and I had to have just this little bite. And she goes, it was literally two inches by two inches. And that's all I had. And I did not do well. She said, my hands were blown up and swelling for at least 48 hours. And I, and she had some, you know, dissipating pain over the next week. And she goes, I will never do that. <laughs> but it was just spoke volumes of how powerful this type of eating is and that we were meant to be eating this way. And our bodies are like, Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to give you these, <laughs> these, uh, example of why did you do that to me? I was doing really well. And, um, but it was really, really telling. And that really stuck in my mind as far as really thinking about RA, psoriatic arthritis, you know, other patients have done very well. I had a, a patient on that other platform that I will not mention, and one of my cases, and I only met him one time and, uh, he had called in, what did he call in for? I don't recall. It was something pretty simple, but I saw that he had psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. And I just really went into plants, anti-inflammatory, da, 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 and gave him some resources of where to go. And I would say it was about hmm, eight or nine months later, uh, I got a Facebook message from this person. And he's like, Dr. Marbus, I had to let you know that I took your advice. I've lost like 60 pounds. My sorry arthritis has completely reversed and I can't thank you enough. And those are just such incredible stories, which I'm sure you get all the time. And though it, it's, it just fuels the fire to keep doing what we're doing. Even when on their days, you're just like, I'm so tired. <laughs> and there's just, you know, there's so many patients who need help. And, um, but yeah, that that is some phenomenal stuff. And uh, again, it's it's for people like you that provide those resources and things that we're doing that allow patients to even understand that there is a possibility of healing. Mm. Uh, like Dr. Uh, Clapper says, he said, your joints are never not looking at what mm. you're eating. Right? Mm -hmm. They always, it's, it's you can't get away with those kind of Cheats. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, it, it's crazy, isn't it? It really is crazy. Yeah. So the autoimmunity, it's it's kind of like a it's like a smoldering fire where we mm -hmm. haven't got the flames there. We can get it to this point where it's just this little smolder at this tiny little level. But then eating something that's uh, you know oily or deep fried, especially, it's just taking a whole bunch of dried leaves and throwing them onto there, and yes. boom, up she goes. Yep, she exactly. Goes. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. Okay, so. I'm I'm now trying to picture myself as 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 our audience listening to this and thinking, okay, um, but now I'm not sure if I go to your website, um, do I pick Laurie or do I pick Chris or do I pick Dr. Clapper? So how mm. can people get an idea of what's the best first doctor to contact? Uh, absolutely. So <clears throat> first of all, there if you're international, I would say you may want to pick uh, Dr. Jeff Pierce or Dr. Kim Scheuer if you speak Spanish. Um, they are Spanish speaking, which is brilliant. Um, Dr. Elizabeth Fontaine speaks French. <laughs> and if you're deaf, I don't know who be listening here or someone's uh, signing to them. Uh, Dr. Kim Shoyer also is, uh, she has a master's in sign language. So her brother was deaf, which is phenomenal. 
really amazing people. So um, Dr. Elizabeth Fontaine is also an OBGYN. So she delivered babies. <laughs> and so if you have female issues, um, menopausal concerns, you know, along those lines, she can add into if you have other autoimmune issues, but those are kind of her specialties. She's also a bike, you know, cyclist and does long distance. She's an amazing athlete. Uh, Dr. Kim Scheuer um, is family medicine beyond the speaking abilities, because I struggle to speak English, she speaks multiple languages. <laughs> um, what's really cool about that is she also is a phenomenal athlete, um, She, but she's really good at doing a lot of different things. And she can really hone in on what's your issue and help you just kind of understand the habits and build across those. Um, she mentioned that she likes to um, I just, she sent me a sentence here. She's a plant-based athlete. She's used a plant-based diet to decrease inflammation in her patients. Side effects include <laughs> reversal of aches and pains along with chronic disease risk factors while simultaneously improving function and performance. And she likes to get as many medications off the patient list you know, as possible. So uh, Dr. Kim Shore is an incredible person there. Then we have Dr. Colin Zhu, um, who also is actually really cool is that he went to culinary school and now employs that with, you know, family practice and lifestyle medicine, which is really awesome. So if you're really struggling with food preparation and those type of things, that might be someone there. He says he's double board certified for family and lifestyle medicine. He went to culinary school to understand how food either feeds our health or feeds disease. He's an osteopathic physician. He has an intimate foundations and structure, form, and function, and he can help along the path of lowering overall body inflammation and gain back more function in his in your life. And we have Dr. Nikki Davis, who was a mechanical engineer. I'm telling you, these people are so smart. Who worked on Na at NASA on the space shuttle? Okay, <laughs> she knows how to get people to the outer space. But she chose to go back to medical school because apparently um, engineering wasn't enough because she actually was plant-based and wanted to practice lifestyle medicine. So she went back for seven more years of training <laughs> to become a lifestyle plant-based medicine physician. And she says, you know, she's passionate about helping with chronic disease. And she, again, very intuitive, very good at digging into the science. Let me tell you, <laughs> You just can't, the, the amazing people. And we have our newest doc, who's Dr. Amy Zacharias, who's a family medicine doc. She just started this week and she actually teaches lifestyle medicine to people. So there you go. There's um, some amazing doctors and I'm just thrilled that we have all these incredible doctors available for anyone to see. But, oh, I just want to mention Dr. Pierce, also Dr. Jeffrey Pierce, um, he does surgical OB as a family medicine physician, and he's actually um, did a lot of training and practice in rural Africa. So now you're taking someone who has limited um, different tools and can take care of the, the most ill and critical, and which is, you know, mm. you know, women who are giving birth in a very less optimal place. And so mm. um, compassionate, um, many of them give a lot of their time to, you know, underprivileged. And I just can't speak enough of just the integrity and the intelligence. And I don't know, I just have so much fun being with, with these guys. So they're just incredible. I'm just so excited. I don't think honestly, you know, all of us have worked probably places that were less than ideal with our coworkers. Uh, I haven't had any problems. <laughs> I am. This has been so much fun to bring on and bring aboard people who are like-minded from the very beginning and are building this incredible opportunity and platform to help so many people around the world. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is amazing. So what about um, people are super excited and they they now think, okay, I'm going to go with that doctor. And then they might think, but 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 I'm already on a plant-based diet following you know, what Clint says, um, I wonder what else I can get out of this because, um, you know, one thing that comes to mind is you can run labs, you can do all sorts of other investigative uh, uh, approaches. Uh, talk right. us through some some of these uh, directions that you can go with um, that, that cannot be done uh, by just trying to work this out at home. Sure, absolutely. So, if you're in the United States, of course, we can order labs and look at those, but we can also look at your labs that you have done other places. For example, I have a patient that I've been seeing regularly 
in Mexico. And so his labs come to me in Spanish, but they're close enough to English. And I have some Spanish background that I can interpret fairly well, but we've reversed his diabetes and, you know, he had some other issues as well. So those things can occur and you can, we can make suggestions to international patients about speaking to your physician, please have them do this or consider this medication or decreasing this or doing that. So we can look and bring the scientific mind, a medical mind to your current circumstances and look at, you know, either tests you've done or recommend tests be done, or we can order those ourselves. We can order medications and labs and all those things. The other thing is, you know, looking at the certain food choices, if you're struggling a little bit, maybe there's some other things that you're dealing with in addition to um, your inflammatory arthritis or, you know, autoimmune condition, which often is the case, um, such as, you know, uh, hypertension, diabetes, digestive issues, and the list goes on and on. Those are also things that we can address for you. So it's not just necessarily, you know, the silo of autoimmune mm -hmm. disease or inflammatory disease. Sometimes there's going to be certain conditions that we have to be a little bit tweaky with the diet, such as diabetes. And, mm -hmm. you know, diabetes, type one diabetes, type one and a half, these are autoimmune diseases as well. And you have to think about them a little bit differently when you're thinking about a plant-based diet. And we can talk to you about the tools that you could employ um, with those other chronic diseases. So with that, I think we're just going to bring another mind. So the more minds you have on your problem, the better, you know, nobody knows everything. And if a doctor ever says that, <laughs> run. <laughs> and because they're not going to be the, the humble spirit you need and to help you collaborate in your health. And so I just really feel like that is really important that you look at us as a collaboration and that, again, the more minds you have on an issue, the better, because people are going to come from it from different angles, different experiences. They're going to look at it with a different lens and really provide you insight that you may have never thought of. And so that's the value of these incredible physicians. Oh, most definitely. And, and um, the huge one that you mentioned, of course, right at the top there is the medications. And this is an yeah. area where you just you, you just can't have these uh, you can't make these decisions on your own. You need the doctor. You need right. to talk to, uh, you need to make a call to you guys and say, hey, my doctor wants me on these drugs, blah, 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 blah. I'm taking this, that, or the other. Uh, I'm not sure if this one's doing anything. What mm -hmm. are the side effects of this long term? And these conversations uh, are really, there's only one place for those conversations, and that's with you guys or their, their existing doctor. And this is why a second opinion or shifting across to, to plant-based telehealth can be such a great move. Yeah, you know, and a very recent example of that was a patient with Crohn's disease recently diagnosed. And the GI doctor said, hey, I'm gonna put you on prednisone this and didn't sit down and explain what are the side effects, should I do this? Um, this patient was highly concerned about that and reached out to us. And so we navigated that and talked through what are the side effects? What is the better treatment? Do you even need treatment at this time? When, how does that relate to food and, you know, what should you be doing? And, you know, ultimately there may be a decision you need medication for a period of time, but are there better medications to choose? And that's the value of having someone who's going to look at you in the hole and sit down and take the time with you to educate you on those potential side effects. Not, not just a rushed, here's your script, go out my door and come back whenever, but literally sit down and say, hey, my goal is for you to be well as possible with minimal amount of medications. And if that requires medications, it requires a bit, are there, what are the best choices for you at this point in your life? And really sit down and help the patient make the best decision for themselves at that point in time as a partner in their health. And that's the really cool thing about this group of physicians. They really value that partnership and they don't speak to patients in that paternalistic way that we're used to, you know, when we were kids and young adults going to a doctor, like you'll do this, do that, you know, <laughs> here's your script out the door. It's just a very different world now. And mm. and medicine's way more enjoyable when you have buy-in from a patient and you work together. Y yes, absolutely. Um, insurance. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, insurance. So Okay. In the United States, again, we're, we've had some difficulty with apparently allowing patients to have access to medical care, even if it's most needed. Um, what we have chosen to do is make this as affordable as possible. We run a really lean operation. I will tell you, Anthony and I bootstrapped this together ourselves with our own funds. And, uh, 
we are now at the period that we're, we're growing, that we are actually getting investors, which has been really humbling and honoring that people, you know, are willing to provide large sums of money to expand our operations, which is really cool. Um, speaking of that, though, we we in the United States to accept insurance is a very complicated and expensive ordeal. And neither one of us had the bandwidth at the, the point of inception <laughs> the launch to do that. And we're not quite there yet. We're working on bringing on more staff. That is our goal would be to cover, you know, be cover all Medicare, Medicaid, private insurance, self-pay. But right now we're on a cash basis and we've kept it that way and try again, try to be as affordable as possible to provide care for the patients and also pay a living good wage to a physician who would be attracted to this so they could walk away from a, a regular brick and mortar job. And with that in mind, we also provide what we call a super bill. It's like a receipt, so to speak, of the um, actual appointment. And it's what you would go when you go to your doctor um, regularly and they accept insurance, they're sending a super bill to your insurance. But what we've done is we'll provide the super bill for you and then you would submit it to your insurance. And we're having quite a few patients actually will get 50% and even upwards of 100% uh, reimbursement from their insurance company. And I have several patients who are like, my business with you are free. Let's keep going. I'm like, all right, let's do it. And so those are some really uh, great stories when you hear them. But of course, the not every not everyone will have that capability. And we really are trying, and we're looking at other ways like group visits and some other things, subscription models to make it even more affordable. But there's a lot of things when you're running a business like this and there's lots of legal things and yeah. I, can't even, I can't even tell you the nightmare that it is to run a practice like this. Um, and, but you want to stay in compliance and not get in trouble. But again, it's, but that's where we're at and we're hoping to have insurance and you probably, it'll probably won't be for a couple of years, but we're really working mm -hmm. hard for it. And we know that's an important aspect we're going to have to eventually offer. Speaking uh, to this topic from a patient point of view, purely uh, who has spent literally thousands upon thousands of dollars over the years in alternative therapies, medical bills, surgeries, um, you know, all sorts. I've, I've got an ozone machine. I bought an infrared sauna. I mean, we're talking, if you average it out over the, you know, per year, the cost of someone who is actively trying to be healthy, if you have inflammatory arthritis, is in the thousands per year. Mm -hmm. So to spend $150, to potentially save your joints mm -hmm. and be able to, um, you know, have a better life. It's, it's a no brainer. And, uh, um, you know, and in, in, in for some of your doctors, if it's twice that, if it's gosh, if it's three times that some people are still going to get, uh, you know, extraordinary value. And so, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, the cost is, is not the issue here. Uh, so I encourage everyone to, to, to take action now. If people want to learn more from yourself, uh, from Dr. Chris Miller and Dr. Clapper, all three of you are on the Rheumatoid Solutions Summit, which is coming out soon. Details to be shared so shortly. It's going to be an ex massively exciting world first. Um, but for people who want to just dive in and, uh, and do a telehealth appointment with you, walk me through the exact steps involved next. Okay. So first thing is you go to plantbasedtelehealth.com, okay? And there's a few things there you can do. As you go to the, the main page, you'll when you're landing there, you'll see where it says new patient registration. And what this does, you can fill that out. And basically it's gonna ask your name, your email, the state, your phone number and date of birth, and that you agree to our terms of use and you click register. That sends us a notification to send you we call a patient portal invitation. And this is our, what we describe as a HIPAA compliant. It's a, it's a very safe place where you're going to see uh, your labs. You can communicate with your doctor. That's where your appointments will originate. All of that occurs in this space called your patient portal. And with that, you can do it that way. Or if you can click on find a doctor, um, it's at the top of the link. You can click on there. You can click what state you're in or if you're international. And we also ask about Medicare because there's, again, more special rules with Medicare. And you could do that. Or if you're not sure which doc you want to click uh, meet, just click on information. And the first um, choice is called meet the doctors. And 
all nine of us are listed there. And if you want to learn more about them, you can scroll down or click on it, or you want to schedule an appointment, it'll take you right to the schedule appointment. And when you click on that button, basically, so if I wanted to see Dr. Clapper or whoever, they will have, you know, do you want to do a 30 minute follow-up or this is a new patient registration? We offer half and one hour appointments. You click on whichever one you want and it shows what's the next available slot. So like if I click on Dr. Clapper, he literally has six appointments available next week. <laughs> you can go see the amazing Dr. Clapper literally next week. And that's amazing. And that's for an hour visit. You can do half hour, whatever you like. And when you do that, it um, puts you into his schedule. You have that booked. And then you'll get an invitation also for the portal. And you set that up as well. Um, if there's any problems, you can call 908-455-8080 or email us at info at pbtelehealth.com. And we're happy to answer those questions. Anthony's always on the phone. <laughs> He's phenomenal. He has quite his own set of groupies that actually just call him to see. You. I have patients who go, I'm just going to call Anthony. See how he's doing. Like, you know, Anthony's really busy. <laughs> but he's such, he cares so much about patients and works so hard to make sure that we are providing the best care possible. You you won't meet another and speak about genuine human beings. Anthony Masiello is one of them. He's literally, he and his family have become part of our family. So we've literally just their extended family at this point. They're just <laughs> I can't, I, I can't explain how the, the incredible humans I've met by being plant-based, including like yourself. Um, just, I just, I just wouldn't change my life or anything. It's been amazing. And, and I'm really, really, really grateful for you sharing all this with us today. Um, you know, anyone who's been a follower of this podcast for a long time knows that I never have any sort of uh, business or corporation or any, anything on anyone on this podcast who's here to sort of uh, act as a, as a service or business or try to say, hey, do this in, in exchange for money. This is, this is a completely uh, um, uh, extraordinary circumstance that, that, that we have here to be able to contact plant-based telehealth. And that's why I want to push this as hard as people are welcome to receive it, because this is an opportunity we've all been waiting for. For, for the how many many months, years, or decades that we've had inflammatory arthritis, we've needed a, a doctor service that we can use from anywhere in the world at low cost to speak to people who are compassionate, empathetic, and who have personal experiences themselves of plant-based eating, plant-based food preparation, plant-based lifestyle, to be able to communicate with without that big, big doctor desk in front of us making us feel intimidated. You've brought this service to the world. Laurie, it's just so amazing to see. And I really hope that everyone uh, goes and just goes through and experiences this with you or one of your colleague doctors. So thank you so much. Uh, well, thank you for such a wonderful uh, paraphrasing of why we're here. And we're just so happy to be able to offer this service. And we really want to make it big. So, you know, please share, uh, spread the word and, you know, uh, we're happy to speak to anybody. <laughs> if you have an opportunity for us to further share, um, we'll be happy to do that. So thank you again for having us. And we really are grateful for the opportunity to be in front of your audience. We, we know that's, that speaks volumes uh, to us and we, and we don't take that lightly. So thank you. Mm -hmm.